Now we're going to be using a Canon FS400 camera um, to shoot stills. You can use any camera you want, it will work the same. First thing you want to do is make sure the camera is set up on a tripod and is as still as possible. Um, you'll see when we take a look at the video that it's shaky a little bit. It's because the tripod wasn't perfectly still and it adjusted itself slightly between every shot. Um, that's not a big deal for the purpose of this. So after you get your footage shot, um, which is just a series of still photos, you want to open iMovie. And what you want to do is create a new project. So you go to File, New Project. We'll call it Stop Motion. Now from here, um, instead of creating an event right away, you could, but you don't have to. What you want to do is open the Finder and go to the disk, um, the flash disk that has your footage on it. In this case, um, it's called No Name. You want to click on DCIM and file through the um, folders until you see all of the pictures that you just took. Um, we'll sort it so we can see it better and we'll select one, then we'll go edit, select all. Now here's the easy part um, when using iMovie. You can just select them all and then drag them all right into your project. It won't let you drag them to an event, but you can drag them right to your project. So it's doing that. You can see it's adding the stills. It'll take just a second. And they're in. Now you have all of these stills. Now the default for iMovie is to have what's called a Ken Burns effect which we don't like because it moves the camera all around. So what you can do is select a clip, edit, select all. Now we're going to make some changes to all of the clips at the same time. First thing we're going to do is go to cropping and Ken Burns effect and we're just going to write fit. So it's going to fit the picture you're taking into the frame of your video without the Ken Burns effect. So when that's done, you can go to Done. Now you can see the clips don't move. The next thing you want to do is each clip is four seconds long, which if you play it through, you'll see is really long in between movements of clips. It doesn't give you the feeling of motion. Now with iMovie, it doesn't give you a true 24 frames or 30 frames per second option, but what you can do is go to the little settings wheel and go Clip Adjustments. Change the duration to 0.1 seconds which is the lowest that iMovie will allow you to go. Hit apply to all stills because they're all selected and done. Now all the clips are only a tenth of a second long so this whole project is 7.5 seconds long and you can play it through and see what it looks like. See our little mouse and our little paper clip box moving around and done. The next thing I would do is export the project. So you would go to share and export movie using QuickTime. It sets it as a .mov file. I want to save it to my desktop as stop motion. Save. I have my little stop motion video made now. Now what I can do is import it into the library. We'll go up to File, New Event, we we'll call it Stop Motion down here. Now you have a new event made. And now we can import the movie. Select your desktop. Here's the movie we just made, stop motion. Import it into iMovie. And now it's in as an actual video clip on its own. So we can go up to our project and delete all these stills that we imported and bring up our movie we just made. So from here, the next thing we could do is add music. Um, or if we want to at this point, what I'd like to do is go back in to add some um, nice touches, go to cropping and rotation and add the Ken Burns effect back in. Um, and hit done. Now as it plays, you'll see the camera moves a little bit. Um, you can try that again. You can have the camera move up or down or zoom in or out. We'll start small and get big and move out. 
So we'll do that. So as the mouse is moving around, you can see the uh, camera move slightly to give it another dimension of movement. So that's briefly how you'd make a quick stop motion video using iMovie.